we're back with another exciting release from the deep seek team as they have launched the new deep seek version 3 0324 model for simplicity let's just call it the version 3.1 model as it's built upon the deep seek v3 model this is something that was actually launched today morning for reports surfaced that deep seeks team quietly launched this model but there's no official announcement no readme or benchmark results yet posted on their hugging face model card but what we know is that this version 3.1 model is a massive 700 gb open source model that is under the mit license and a lot of users are actually raving about its enhanced performance in math coding and reasoning What's interesting is that the DeepSeek team is now gearing up for the R2 launch in April with this model release. This is a mixture of experts model and it's the latest addition to their flagship chat model lineup. According to internal benchmarks posted by many users, this is something that is reportedly outperforming Claude 3.5 and 3.7 in coding related tasks, which is just insane. And it's a huge milestone for an open source model to be beating these proprietary models. Some even claim it to be the best non-reasoning model available right now. Now I can't confirm officially to you that this is the case, but these 3.1 model tests have been showcasing that excels in front-end development effortlessly which is able to code out quite quickly and efficiently if this holds up it could be a game changer for developers looking for high speed open source coding and it's also something that does quite well in terms of math which is also something that you should take a look at just take a look at it in action where it actually built out this entire website in one shot writing 800 lines of code flawlessly with no breaks and no errors. It is something that's kind of remarkable and it's something that we're going to be testing out throughout today's video. DeepSeek has actually launched the API so that you can start accessing this new model via API. And you can do this by going over to the website and clicking on the API platform and linking a credit card to the account so that you can access it. You can start chatting with it within their chat bot. Just make sure you don't turn on the deep think model, which is their R1. And lastly, you can actually access their free API through open router and you can start chatting with it over here as well. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, what we're going to do is have this model assessed on different prompts from coding all the way to reasoning. And these are new prompts that are a bit more difficult to assess this model upon. So let's go ahead and send in this prompt to have it first build out uh, an app to help us track monthly uh, incomes as well as expenses. And essentially, we're trying to see how well it is in terms of developing front end code. So let's see what it ends up developing for us. So I've gone along and I've pasted in all the code snippets into a new finance app folder. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up. And this is the first iteration of this finance app. And it does look really nice. You have the ability to add your transactions. It will then showcase a display of uh, your monthly summary of your total income, expenses, and balance. You can also visualize your data after you input your transaction and then you have your transaction history. So I actually did a pretty good job in generation of this monthly budget tracker app. So let's go ahead and give this a pass. Next up, I'm going to have the model generate the game of life in Python. And essentially, we're trying to see how well it is in terms of its ability to implement complex logic in Python, as well as optimization for large scale simulations. So let's see what it ends up developing. So I went into my desktop and then I opened up the game of life Python file. And this is the simulation that we got. And this is definitely perfect. And I'm kind of surprised to see that it was capable of generating this. So huge props to the model for doing this. So let's go over and give this a pass. The next prompt is to create an SVG representation of a butterfly with symmetrical wings and simple styling, which is a prompt that many models tend to fail. I have gone along and sent in this prompt. So let's now copy this and then go over to an online SVG viewer. Now remember guys, this is a prompt that most models tend to fail at. Let's see what it generates. And surprisingly, that looks actually really nice. You have more additions to this butterfly. You have the antenna and you have the wing which is 
fully represented to be symmetrical so this is actually surprising and huge props to the model in terms of generating this because majority of the models tend to fail at this i'm telling you only i believe like a handful of models have been able to generate svg code of a butterfly that's symmetrical so this is actually really nice to see next up we're going to send in this formula which is a quadratic equation and we're trying to see the model's ability to solve it and we're trying to see if it uses the quadratic formula which it did i see it using it and now the answer that is supposed to be coming out of this equation is three and one for x and this is definitely correct so let's go back into the sheet and give this a pass the next prompt is stating that a train leaves city a at 8 a.m traveling at 60 kilometers an hour another train leaves city b at 9 30 a.m traveling at 90 kilometers an hour towards city a the distance between the cities is 300 kilometers at what time do they meet this is a simple but kind of intricate logical reasoning and problem solving question and we're trying to see how well the model is in terms of providing a solution where it uses multiple steps which you can see it does it uses the distance equals speed times time uh, equation and it does get the correct answer in the first segment and essentially we're trying to see if the answer is 1054 which is 100 percent correct so let's go give this a pass the next one is to fix a python bug we're trying to see how well this model is in terms of debugging we're going to send in this prompt to identify the bug within this snippet over here and we're trying to see if it then provides the fixed code which it does the bug in this code is where this function is supposed to be giving the sum of even numbers but it is giving it uh, equaling it to an odd number and it actually fixes the code by replacing the one with zero and it gives you an explanation as to how you can fix this as well as an alternative fix which is also nice to see so this is definitely a pass the next prompt states that a company sells three types of products product a is 15 dollars per unit product b is 25 dollars per unit and then product c is 40 dollars per unit if a customer spends exactly 500 buying a mix of these products how many of each product could they have bought provide at least one valid combination and the reason why we're assessing this model on this is because it is focusing on math which is going to assess its ability to solve equations with multiple variables we're trying to see how many different combinations it's able to uh, output and see if it does provide a valid combination which is where we're trying to see if unit uh, product a has 10 units which equals to 150 uh, product b with 250 and then product c with 80 dollars worth of it so it looks like there's multiple different combinations and i did find the one that i like the most which is the one at the bottom which is even better than my answer it provides me four valid combinations of it zero for a four for b and then 10 for c and you can see there's multiple different types you can uh, that equates to 500 dollars so it did a really great job in terms of providing multiple combinations and variables of this prompt that i given so this is a pass the last one is a pretty easy prompt but we're having it read this passage over here if i can copy it properly and then we're going to go back into this chat room and we're going to send in this prompt essentially we're trying to see how well this model is in terms of its reading comprehension trying to see its memory recall without rereading and you can see right away that i wanted to read this passage and it is trying to see how well it is in terms of retrieving the correct uh like thing that i'd asked for which is how many kittens did sophia uh, see which was three kittens and it did recall it quite quickly so this is definitely a pass and overall i am definitely proud to give this model a really great rating it is going to be super accessible in terms of how you can use it for free through open router in terms of how you can use it with deep seeks platform as well as their api which is definitely going to be more cost effective than claude's 3.5 and 3.7 model this is definitely a great model in coding and math and this is something that i'm going to be testing throughout the next few days i'm going to be making more videos especially on coding with it so definitely stay tuned 
but huge props to the deep seek team this is a great remarkable model and you will soon see more official reports on the benchmark test and i'll definitely keep you guys posted on twitter as well as on my discord but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you subscribe to the newsletter follow me on the patreon make sure you follow me on twitter to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas